Now, more on our breaking news story out of Israel. Let's bring in Imran Khan. He's our correspondent, joining us once again uh, from Tel Aviv. Imran, so uh, the defense minister fired. Tell us what you're hearing. Well, there were rumors swirling around all day that this may well happen, and it did happen about half an hour ago. Now, this actually all began on Thursday night. Yav Galant, the now former defense minister, was supposed to issue a statement. Uh, instead, he was called to Jerusalem, and Netanyahu, uh, the prime minister, and Galant had a meeting, and then that statement was called off. In that statement, he was going to say that the judicial overhaul bill needed to be halted. Then... On Saturday night, he actually issued the statement uh, unilaterally. This apparently angered Benjamin Netanyahu, who then fired him. But it, one of the reasons it angered Benjamin Netanyahu is because four other members of his own party backed Yoav Gallant. Now, this was going to put strain on the coalition. It was going to put a strain on the government. If those four um, members of the Knesset decided that they weren't going to vote, then the prime minister would lose his majority and the bill would not be passed. Now, he's actually been replaced now by a guy called Avi Dikta. Avi Dikta was a former head of the Shimbet Israeli Intelligence Agency. He's a loyalist to Netanyahu, and he's already come out and said that he will back the judicial overhaul bill. This is a very crucial time for Israel. We're, uh, whole, we're going into the Passover parliamentary recess in about a week's time. The protesters are out on the streets in large number. They're protesting every single day now. There's a large protest due to take place outside of Parliament on Wednesday, and cracks are appearing within uh, the coalition government. Like I say, these four members of the Likud party, they would have been able to kill uh, any attempts to pass this bill. Getting rid of Yoav Gallant is a bold, bold move for Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, but it's a bold move that he continues to play. He always goes for loyalists. Yoav Gallant was seen by many as being a compromised candidate for that job. He was seen as an adult in the room and a voice of reason. Well, that voice of reason has now been removed, and so this paves the way uh, for the judicial overhaul bill to be passed before the Passover holiday. That's coming uh, in just a week's time. Okay, Imran, we'll let you go for now. Thank you so much for that update from Tel Aviv. Let's bring in a political analyst, Akiva Eldar. He's joining us from uh, Tel Aviv as well. So um, what's your reaction to this, Mr. Eldar? Did this come as a surprise? I believe that uh, the game is not over yet, and uh, we are heading towards uh, Israel's uh, worst uh, political and uh, judicial prices. I think that uh, it will end uh, in uh, a head-on collision between the, the government and the Knesset on one hand and the uh, judiciary. Uh, and uh, the high court is already being challenged by an NGO uh, asking uh, to uh, declare the uh, prime minister incompetent incompetent of leading the country and uh, actually abusing his power by ignoring the uh, conflict of interest uh, agreement between him and the Supreme Court. And uh, I believe that uh, uh, we are looking at uh, a kind of uh, a worse conflict between the uh, heads of the uh, Secret Service the army, the police, that will have, up, will have to make up their mind if they follow the orders of the government or the law. So uh, what do the next sort of 24 to 48 hours look like, in your opinion? Um, first of all, I believe that the Likud, the majority of uh, the Likud faction in the Knesset, will stand behind Netanyahu, not because they like this situation, it's just because uh, there is a kind of, uh, I would even say, a kind of uh, a kingdom uh, in, in the Likud. Netanyahu is not just a prime minister. He is uh, the, the king of the Likud, and he can fire any minister like he did today to Gala and uh, appoint someone else. Okay, thank you, Akiva Eldar. Thank you for joining us uh, from Tel Aviv on this breaking news story.